Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I would like to show you how you can use your own images to replace or, or uh, add a reflection to somebody's sunglasses in Adobe Photoshop. And with that I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. So uh, the first thing that you need to do here is get uh, both of your images open in Adobe Photoshop. I have my picture of a, a guy wearing sunglasses and I have a picture of a beach that I want to add to these sunglasses. Looks like he's already looking at some kind of a beach or is on a boat perhaps but uh, I want to add uh, a better reflection. So, uh, so now that we have both of those images open in there, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, make my beach image non-visible. So I just click on the, the eye next to the, to the layer there. And uh, what I want to do is um, I'm not really going to be working on any um, of these layers particularly, so I'm not going to worry about making a copy of my background layer this time, but you certainly could if you wanted to. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I, I want to select the area that I want uh, that I want the 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 image um, my reflection to be in, and that's on the sunglasses. Okay, so I actually I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to call that um, reflection or something because that's what it's going to be. And I need to go in and I need to make a selection of the uh, the sunglasses area. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom way in on that so I can get a better selection, okay? So I'm way zoomed in on the sunglasses right now. And I'm going to just um, go ahead and use the polygonal lasso tool. So go ahead and go over to your toolbar and select the polygonal lasso tool if that's uh, what you wish to choose. There's obviously other ways to make a selection. I'm going to do this one because it's a little quicker for the video. But you could certainly go in and um, in, in quick mask mode or br and brush in a selection, that would probably be the best way to do it because you won't have as hard of edges, okay? So I'm just going to quickly click around though just for the sake of saving a little time in the video and make a selection and I'll add a feather to it here in a second so that um, so that my hard edges are not as apparent as well. So you could uh, you could actually use this technique if you wanted to to make your selection but certainly if you if you uh, feel more confident making your selection uh, with a different technique go ahead and do that okay now uh, to do the other side you're gonna have to press shift so that you can add to the selection and just keep holding down shift as you click around the edge. If you make a mistake, you might have to start over if you use this technique. That's uh, that's one problem with this technique. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna keep clicking around the perimeter here. And make a couple longer clicks to get this done. Okay, so now we have our uh, our selected area, and what we want to do um, <clears throat> is make sure that our our new layer that we named reflection is still selected. And we're oh, uh, I said I was going to add a a feather to that selection. So what we need to do is go up to select, down to modify, and uh, down to feather, and add like a, a two pixel or three pixel feather to that and that'll just uh, soften up any hard edges that you might have okay and then uh, go ahead and make sure that you have black as your foreground color and uh, you can kinda toggle your colors with the, these toggle arrows and if you need to set it back to black and white go ahead and click on the small black and white default icon over there uh, then go up to edit down to fill and uh, make sure your contents is use foregro uh, foreground color and then click OK and that'll fill with your uh, your black color and then we can uh, remove our selection by pressing Control D on the keyboard. You can kind of see that uh, the feather on there and it's uh, it's just kind of made it a, a soft shape around our glasses and it's pretty nice actually. So uh, the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and make our our beach layer available. That's what I called the uh, the image that I want to be reflected on um, on his sunglasses. Okay. So I made that layer visible again, and I'm going to press V on my keyboard, or you could uh, select your Move tool from your tool palette, and just move, make sure that you have that layer selected, the beach layer, or whatever layer you're using, and drag it over the top of the sunglasses. And you can press Control T on your keyboard, 
and change the size of it a little bit. Um, I used the place feature in Adobe Photoshop to uh, put this image down, and I know that it's a very large image, so I'm, I'm willing to scale it up slightly um, and know that it's not going to be lossy. But make sure that you don't scale up any image too much in Adobe Photoshop because you'll probably lose uh, resolution. So make sure you're using a big enough image probably to begin with uh, to do this, okay? So the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and clip this image to that uh, reflection layer that we just made over the sunglasses. So what we do is we right click on the beach layer and we select um, create clipping mask and that'll clip it right to those shapes that we just made in our reflection layer. Okay, And then, um, then what we want to do is we want to double click on a reflection layer and we're going to add an inner shadow to that. So click on the inner shadow um, to select it and we want to take our opacity up to 100% our distance down to zero so it's even around all edges and we're gonna bump up the size at pretty much as much as you want just to kind of give it a little bit of a rounded uh, effect and we're gonna also enhance that a little bit more right now uh, but go ahead and press OK when you feel good about how that looks and uh, and we're gonna select now our beach image or whatever image that you put in there and we're gonna go up to filter down to um, let's see stylize oh sorry it's distort um, down to distort and then to spherize sorry I stumbled there a little bit um, okay so now we wait for that uh, the options box to pop up on spherize and what this will do is it'll take the image that we're cropping to our sunglasses and we're gonna make, be able to make it look a little bit more uh, rounded to the image and so um, what we want to do is you can make the amount as much as you want. It'll show you what it's doing up above. And it'll just kind of warp to the sunglasses. So I'm going to probably go around 50% or so. And then you want to select horizontal mode only um, to, to make this look the best that it can. Okay, and then you go ahead and click OK. And it will, um, it will kind of warp um, in a sphere, spherical sort of sense to your uh, sunglasses. So... At this point, you can see there's not very much of the image in the sunglasses, so what I want to do is I want to select that image that's being clipped to our, um, our shapes here, and I'm going to go ahead and hide those effects just by clicking this arrow on the right. But uh, what I really want to do is, with that layer selected, is I want to press Control t on the keyboard, and it's telling us that it's going to uh, disable the, the smart filters while we do this, but it'll, they'll come back on after um, the transformation. Okay. But uh, so we'll press Control T to bring up our transform tools, and uh, or actually, in this case we didn't need to do that. But uh, I'm just going to drag it up a little bit so you can see more of the image. Okay, uh, you might need to. You can also resize here if you need to, and that's what I was thinking I was going to do, but I didn't. Okay, so I just moved it, and I'm going to double click to apply. Okay, and then uh, it it uh, put our smart filter back on there. Okay. And you can move it around a little bit more if you need to. And you can see that it's kind of rounded right now with the image, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it. There's a couple more things that you can do. You can take the opacity down on this layer if you want, if you think that the color is too strong. So we can take the opacity down to like 90 or let's try 75%. And then I'll just let a little bit more of that black color show through. And if you want to, also, you can make a copy of these, uh, this reflection, the, the sunglasses, the black uh, selection that you made. You can make a copy of that. And uh, what we'll do is put that below um, our original copy. And it looks like it, uh, it, it took our clipping mask off, so we're just going to need to make that again. So we'll right-click on that and create our clipping mask again, and it'll set that back there for us, okay? So, uh, but now we have two of these shape layers. One thing that we can do is add um, a layer mask to this layer um, and disable the, the, uh, the other two layers above it so that we can only see that one. And uh, we, can, we can, on our clipping mask that we made with that layer mask button, we can select that layer mask and select an eraser, go up to the top, make the hardness down to zero, and the size, uh, about 100 pixels is right for my image. And we can take the opacity down at the top, down to 50%. And uh, what, I, what I'm getting at here is I want to try to let the eyeball show through a little bit. So I'm just going to click where the eyeball is and uh, let it show through a little bit. And, uh, and then once we, we have that done, we can um, go ahead and, and 
make these other layers visible again and what we want to do is take the opacity down on the one above it maybe down just a hair so you or so you can start to see that uh, that eye come through maybe around 75 percent or so there or um, or you could also do the same you could uh, copy that mask up there and that would let it show through um, completely but the reason that we made the copy is because we don't want his original um, his original image reflection going through and uh, at this point there was a there was a sun over here in the original image I thought that looked pretty good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that uh, back as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new layer up above at the top and I'm going to right click on it and say clipping uh, create clipping mask so that it's clipped to our reflection as well I'm going to click on that layer and I'm gonna call it Sun because that's what we're gonna add or at least that sort of effect um, and what we want to do is I'm going to make that layer completely black. So with our black as a foreground color, um, still should be from before, we're going to fill that layer um, completely with black, and it should go only into the sunglasses once again, okay? And you can see that uh, everything <coughs> is uh, that's clipped here is at 50%, so you can still see that eye through it. But since we're adding it to this side, it, that, uh, that shouldn't matter so much, okay? So what we want to do uh, with that new sun layer selected, we want to go up to Filter, down to um, Render, and uh, lens flare. It's a good opportunity to use our lens flare. Uh, make the brightness pretty bright because um, because we have this layer set to 50% and we want to be able to see it, okay? And we can always um, take the opacity down on that uh, layer as well, which I'll show you, okay? So now we have that lens flare and we can just drag it around until, um, until we see what we want to see. And that's not what I want to see, so I'm actually going to go back in my history to my paint bucket and I'm going to try a different lens, for, lens flare, okay? So, um, if your history is not up, go to Window, down to History, and you can go back a couple layers there, okay? Or a couple steps. So, I'm going to try this again, one last time. Filter, Render, Lens Flare, and we'll just try a different one. And actually what we'll do is maybe we'll take the brightness down a little bit because I think it was a little washed out. So what I'll do is I'll just take it down to 135 or so and I'll do that. Okay, that's a lot better. All right, and then we just move it over to where we want the sun to be. And we select that layer still, which it should still be selected. And we uh, change the blending mode to uh, probably screen would be the best. And that will just kind of add a little kind of lens flare to your image and um, Kind of add the sun there, and uh, if that it looks too big, go ahead and press Control T, and you can shrink that down a little bit. So um, I pressed Control T, and you can see that that uh, that layer is pretty huge. So what I'm going to do is press Control and then the minus sign on the keyboard to just zoom out a little bit, um, or you could click on your zoom tool and press Alt to zoom out. But I'll just press uh, Hold Shift and drag one of these corners in a little bit just to make that lens flare a little smaller, and drag it up to where I want. Okay. So I've made it a little bit smaller. I'll just drag it up to where I want right there, and I will click, uh, double click to, to place it there. And I'll go ahead and zoom back in so you can see what I did. So I'll press uh, Control and the plus sign to zoom back in. Right on the, the sunglasses, you can see that uh, that created a little bit of a line there. So to get rid of that, I'm going to choose this technique to get rid of it. I'm gonna just add a layer mask, and I'll uh, press E to get my eraser, and I'm just gonna brush it out of this side. Gotta make sure I turn my opacity back up to 100%. And I'll just brush it out a little bit over there. Okay, so I got rid of that line and it's non um, destructive because I added a layer mask. Okay, and uh, we have our sun and it kind of goes a little darker on that side, so it kind of looks like a nice sunset reflection there. And uh, at this point, we're pretty much done. Uh, we've added our, our image to the reflection here. Um, if it's too strong, you can always take down the opacity on any of these layers, um, the one with the image you can certainly attack if you think that the image is too strong and come down a little bit, okay? But that's pretty much it. So I hope you like, uh, liked this tutorial. If you did, please click the like button on YouTube. Uh, please follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. And, uh, and thanks for watching.